Hi, am I press record? Okay, I gotta get tissue. That didn't last, did it? Oh, but we could do Mambo number five. <laughs> right, Christmas number five. Okay, we got tracking happening. Hi, it's Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today I'm gonna to share with you five crochet Christmas stocking patterns. Christmas number five. We've been listening to Mambo number five a lot in the house. It's like one of our cooking songs. <laughs> you can really get a lot chopped listening to that song. So that kind of just reminds me of Mambo number five, but it's Christmas stockings number five. So we're gonna start smallest to biggest. All of these are written patterns already on my website, secretyarnery.com and left and right-handed tutorials on my channel. So I will have all that linked in the description box down below. So you can just go ahead and click wherever you wanna to go to see whichever tutorial you want. I also have a whole Christmas playlist of things to crochet for Christmas. So I'll be including that in the description box as well. There is also another video coming out all about crochet Christmas decorations. So this is specific just to stockings. If you're new or haven't seen my tutorials before. My tutorials are fantastic, if I do say so myself. They are step-by-step, -step, perfect for beginners, and they also have time stamps, so you can jump back in to where you left off. And they're also complete from start to finish, also left and right-handed. So if you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, and if you wanna just do the whole project with me for free, they are available to you. And then of course, I do have the written patterns over on my website, secretyarnery.com. And you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern all of those patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there right beside you. If you are looking for crochet Christmas decorations, I have a heap of those as well. That'll be coming out as a separate video. Today we're going to be diving into Christmas stockings, and I'm going to be explaining to you the differences between all of the patterns I have available and what is good about each one of them, depending on what you want to do with your stocking. I have a pattern pretty much for everything. If I've missed something out or you have a, you want to have a stocking, for something that I haven't mentioned in this video, let me know in the comments and I would be happy to make a pattern for that as well. If crochet and yarn is your jam, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. There is new and cool crochet stuff every week. Now, stockings, yay, stocking number one. We're gonna start small and we're gonna go big. <laughs> so these small little stockings are perfect for, hold on, I gotta get it all cute in my little mitt. There we go. These little cuties are perfect for your tree or also for gift tags. How cute are those? So there are three rows and you could do them all in one color or you could do them with three colors or just two colors like I have here. They're super cute, easy, 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 easy to do and automatic by the time you're done. They also finish off with a cute gift tag or a little hanging tag so you can tie it on to a present or decorate your tree. They are super easy to do. They would also be great little stash busters and they are open so you can fit something inside. They're actually like a real little stocking. So cute. So these are the Granny Square Christmas stocking ornaments, also gift tags. Number two, next size up. These are perfect for, you tell me, you tell me what you guess they're for. They are perfect for gift cards, that's right. So they fit a credit card, whoop, right inside perfectly. So they're custom made to fit a gift card. You could fill them up with whatever you like, but they are also great for a gift card or a gift card and other things cute little chocolates, whatever you wanna put in them. They're also a really good size for grandkids or coworkers. If you have like a secret Santa or you have to give a gift or you just wanna have some gifts hanging around your house, you could make a bunch of these, just keep maybe like a little pack of biscuits or a hair tie, a scrunchie, depending on whoever you're giving it to or whoever your natural friends are. You could have some cute little coffee pouches, some tea bags would also fit really cute in them. And then you could just have some like by your door to be like, oh, Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays when your friends come over or even the mailman 
and FedEx, whoever comes to your house that you just want to say thank you to. These would be super handy to have near your front door and really practical. Plus, they're not so big where you feel that you have to like, you know, dump the whole world inside so you don't look cheap. Really, you can just put a little note, a couple tea bags, a, a instant coffee. You could fill them up with just about anything and they will look plump and full, plus super easy to do. Just a few rows of crochet. These are one, two, three, four, five rows and they have a really nice shape. So what I do want to point out, because it took me a long time, <laughs> this cute heel is really heely and the toe and all that. I spent a lot of time getting it to be that exact shape, especially at the top, how it's wider. That is why this particular pattern, all of these patterns are unique. They all finish off with as close to a perfect boot shape as I can manage. Even though I went to film another one this year and I thought, of course, I'm going to reinvent the wheel and do it my way. And I was like, what? It's not working out. Da -da -da. I had to go back to my own pattern and be like, oh yeah, that's right. Like I had, I, it's so figured out. So definitely grab a pattern, check out the tutorial. You're going to love them. Now, next size up, number three. <laughs> I love these. I love them. This size, perfect for grandkids or your teacher at school, your kid's teacher, uh, your sports coach, whoever you want to give a little something more to, a little more than a gift card or a couple tea bags, something you, know, you could fit like a full-size chocolate bar in here. You could put tea bags and a full-size chocolate bar. They are really nice. If you did it for a school teacher, you could put a pack of pencils, like all the stationary supplies would fit in there. Plus they also are, would look full. It's not so big where Again, you're not going to look cheap, but this would definitely fit like some pencil crayons, some crayons, rulers, like stationary supplies, anything you want to give as a little bigger gift. So here is, oh, let me get the red one. There is the gift card size and here is the boot. So this is the boot. It is also a little wider at the top. If you can kind of see that boot shape or that shape at the top. That's what makes this pattern so great. Still has a super cute heel, super cute bottom of the boot, but it has a nice little, we're starting to get that nice stocking shape at the top. So this is the boot size compared to the credit card or the gift card size. So cute. So love it. So great, really good for grandkids too. If you have some grandkids coming over or you just wanna make it all even and fair, you could fit some really cute things inside and nobody would feel left out. Full size granny square stockings, this is number four. Boop. So cute. So a little more square, but still it comes out at the top. Can you see that boot shape up here? That is intentional and part of the design. So stockings, each of the patterns is different because we want to get a little bit of a different shape depending on how big we're making our stocking. So this is the full size boot. And of course you could do it in whatever color combinations you like. Really cute, full size. So this would be good for like for your family, for your own fireplace. They would look great on a mantle, hanging over a little wood fire. So cute. And they have another fantastic shape. You could do them all in one color. You don't have to do stripey, but why not? I love it. Also would be so cute as like a stash buster, like not even doing Christmas colors, just literally using up your scraps of yarn. That would be so great. Like magic knot, next color, and just get a bunch of stockings made. Oh, I want to do that. What if you didn't? Oh, then I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm like, what if you just got colors you liked and did it? <laughs> but I would sit there doing like row, row, row. I wouldn't just stop halfway. So it has to be a scrap buster for me. But those are so cute. So this is the Granny Square stocking. Full size. So this is a full size stocking. And to compare to the boot, there's the boot. Cute, right? Our last stockings, number five. 
these gorgeous guys. Oh, it was one of my very first stocking patterns, but then I redid it. I redesigned it. So the pattern comes with, I think, three different toppers, three different ways to finish off your edge. Let me see if I can. Oh no, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. Let me show you. Three different ways to finish off the top. So this one has icicles. All included in the written pattern, by the way. This one is just flat across the top. And then we have cute little scallops across the top. So this pattern, I love it. What's so great about it, let me show you this one. What's so great about it, it's top down. So we start at the top and we make our rows. We do a super easy color change. Let me show you. Along the heel or along the back of the leg of the boot. So you don't have to change color and sew in your ends every single round. It's nice and straight. So that seam goes right up the back of your stocking. So it looks great on this side. It looks great on that side. We go all the way down and I show you a super easy way to do this heel. Let me show you this other heel. Sometimes it's hard to see white in the camera. There we go. So this super easy heel, you don't have to stress about it. It pretty much does it automatic. So this is super easy to do. And then we just finish off at the toe. You could make them bigger if you felt like it but this is a pretty great size for mine. I did, I did make some where I didn't really count my rows so much because I wanted them on the mantle to look a little bit different, like kind of everybody's foot. So some are bigger, some are smaller, some are skinnier. So it looked kind of like you're hung up your laundry opposed to cookie cutter, store bought, same size stockings. So it looked really, really cute. These are all the same size. This, this year that I did these, I made them all the same size. So. There's one somewhere else, because obviously I made six. It's probably with my Christmas stuff. But you can get a lot of different color combinations just from your three colors of yarn. But the big thing about this pattern, the heel, absolutely perfect, easy to do. You can totally do it. Don't stress out about a heel. And there's no holes. So you can look inside there. No holes, no light is getting in there. You can put whatever you'd like inside and nothing is really gonna pop out where it might pop out with a granny stitch because there's those holes in it. So maybe like pencils or things like that, you'd have to be a little more careful with the granny stocking so they wouldn't fall out these holes. Where the stripey ones, you don't have to worry about it at all. You can put in whatever you like. So these are great. I've used them already. These are not, <laughs> these are from a couple years ago and I definitely enjoyed using them a lot. It's like a go-to, it's like a must-have. This is like a must-have, and then the granny ones are like, ooh, what do I wanna do? They're so fast and easy. So those are all available to you, whatever color combinations you like. And do you change colors every year? Cause I feel like I do. If I repeat my colors, I feel like I'm kind of cheating or I'm not being the best mom I could be. Can you tell my mom used to like be a window display person for Eaton's? <laughs> She was always into like what things looked like and everything had to be like fresh and new every year. It's kind of rubbed off on me. So I'm not even sure what colors I'm doing. Maybe I'm just gonna do red and green this year because I don't usually do red and green. I do a lot of pink and green. I love pink and green, but we'll see. If you have any suggestions for what your favorite color combinations are, let me know in the comments. And I'm waiting for you in that video right there. Stay hooked. I don't have the microphone bars on my camera anymore and I don't know how to get them back and if cro and if crochet and yarn is your jam and I'm pasty I love it everything always wanted okay it's really hot already how come I start sweating it's the light. should I turn the light down I probably should turn the light down wait how do I do that and in a tissue my nose is gonna run that'll be my next thing Okay, I'm ready. Am I actually sweating? Whew. 